Hey, it's Rachel. So it is Sunday and I'm actually about to go get a massage because I need something to film for this week and I have way too much homework to do today to film like an informational video. We're going with the vlog because honestly that's just the easiest to film. I will show you what I eat today. Today is a rest day, which means my macros are gonna be a little bit different. We're doing pretty low carb and high fat, but I did sneak some carbs in this morning with those rice cakes from my friend Julie. I've got like four left. I'm gonna be so sad when they're gone. They're the tomato basil ones, and apparently you can only get them at Walmart, and I don't think I'll have to find a Walmart in Chicago because they're Anyway, I am late. Let's go. Hey guys, so just finished with my massage. Boy, was it needed. I am now in like a little shopping area, so I'm gonna stop by Jewel Osco to pick up some groceries, but there's also a vitamin shop and an Ulta. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of shopping. It's like afternoon, I didn't bring a snack with me, and I'm starving. So while I was in the vitamin shop, I picked up the Quest cereal bar. I've never tried these before, but because I'm high carb, try that again, because I am high fat, low carb, this had some of the lowest carb um, macros for protein bars. A lot of the protein bars, like even like the regular Quest bars, are super high carb. But then they say it's okay because they throw in a bunch of fiber, so they say it cancels out. I don't count that way. So the macros on this cinnamon bar is 4.5 fat, 17 carb, and 12 grams of protein. And let me show you the ingredients. Hold on. So it is a whey isolate blend, it says whey and milk, uh, soluble corn fiber, that's the fiber that Quest uses, almonds, butter, interesting, water, palm kernel oil, and then 2% or less than 2% of the following, cinnamon, urethritol, sea salt, baking soda, natural flavor, cellulose gum, xanthan gum, sucralose, and then sunflower lectin. So no soy, which is nice. And then it says almonds and milk derived ingredients, but because it is an isolate, I will most likely be totally fine with the dairy. So I'm going to eat this. I'm gonna walk across the street to where the Julasco is. just got home. I am starving. Like, there was a moment there where I almost stopped and was like, I better get a salad at Subway because I do not feel well. <sighs> this is what happens when you don't plan, but you guys have seen me do this before. You've seen me do this a lot on my channel. Whenever I go out and run errands and think, oh, it's only gonna take me a couple hours, it always ends up taking me way longer and then I'm starving. So thankfully, because I batch cook, I have food already cooked for me. So all I had to do was warm it up in the microwave. This is five ounces of 
chicken breast and 150 grams of broccoli with some Kerrygold butter, my horseradish mustard. So I'm back from the grocery store, obviously. That means it's grocery haul time. I didn't buy a lot, but I did buy a few special items. So you guys saw me go into Ulta. I did pick up the Tarte Shape Tape. This is the concealer that like everybody is talking about. Yes, my skin is really that pale. So then you guys saw me go to Vitamin Shop. The only thing I bought was this, Turmeric Extract. So this is just the Vitamin Shop brand, but it's gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, nut-free. So that's awesome. I didn't realize that the Vitamin Shop brand um, was free of all of the things that I prefer to avoid and are super, super common in supplements. Almost, I think every supplement that I've seen at Walgreens almost always has soy in it. So this one does not, but the reason I got the turmeric extract was Katie. So Katie has arthritis and she made a YouTube video recently about powerlifting with arthritis and she said that she started taking turmeric extract and it's supposed to help with inflammation every time she gets a flare. And I like commented on her video, I was like, hmm, I wonder if that would help with my inflammation as well. Thing also, I didn't realize that Vitamin Shop had a ton of natural proteins, like protein powders that were made with stevia from grass-fed cows, don't have fillers, that kind of thing. You guys know I talked about Slap Nutrition and I really like them because, again, it's a whey isolate and uh, which means it won't have lactose. And um, Jason uses sunflower lecithin instead of soy lecithin. So all of these things that I really like about it. But it was really cool to see in a place like Vitamin Shop, just a bunch of other brands. So I made sure to get a lot of footage. The people there were super nice. They didn't mind that I had my camera at all. So I might go back there and film more to just learn more about all of the different supplements because it can be so hard trying to find a supplement to use when you have so many like allergy restrictions. Let me show you now my groceries before they melt. So the first thing that I did was I grabbed spinach and this Southwest Crunch Salad. This I thought was really interesting. I've never seen this before, but it is pre-mixed romaine, cabbage, carrots, cilantro, and green onion. It was like $3.99, so yeah, it would be a lot cheaper just to buy all these separate and chop them myself, but I love that I don't have to chop it myself. Next, I got this organic flax and chia blend. A bunch of my friends on Instagram, on YouTube, have been eating flax and or chia seeds. They're high in omega-3s. They're supposed to be really good for you. I just grabbed this one. Just to keep in mind though, a serving size is two tablespoons and it does have four fat and four carbs and also two protein. I'm gonna experiment with this. I might put this in my oatmeal. I went to Jewel Osco and what do you know, I found the trifecta of protein ice cream. So we've got Arctic Zero, the salted caramel. I think this is one of their new flavors. We've got the Enlightened and mint chocolate chip is my favorite normal ice cream brand. Um, so I thought I would get the mint in the Enlightened. And then of course, Halo Top. And I got Halo Top in salted caramel. I was really pumped to see all three flavors at Julasco. Arctic Zero, zero fat, seven carb, and three protein. They definitely have the best macros. Now this, you can see the very first ingredient is water. It does have whey protein concentrate, some cane sugar, fiber, guar gum, xanthium gum, etc. Because it's zero fat, this is great for my refeed days when I eat higher carb and lower fat. So I'm gonna try a little bit of it and see how my stomach does. There we go, ta-da, lactose free. So we are good to go with this one. I should be okay and it also certified gluten free. The Enlightened, so their macros are for half a cup, 16 carb, three fat and seven protein. So a little bit higher in fat and carbs, obviously. So this has an isolate. It has erythritol as the sweetener. 
corn fiber, coconut oil. It does have soy lecithin, but I am okay with that. And it is gluten-free. Doesn't say lactose-free anywhere, but it is a whey isolate, so I think we might be okay. And then Halo Top. So this has 12 carbs, two fat, and six proteins. This says milk and cream. So this actually does have milk, erythritol, fiber, protein concentrate, butter, etc. Um, so definitely not lactose free. So I have had the Arctic Zero before. That's lactose free, soy free, gluten free. I have no issues with it. I can eat it, we're good. The only thing I wasn't like super pumped about the consistency, it was very much like eating water or like flavored water. But we'll see how that creamy one is. But the Halo Top I have had before. And if I eat too much of it, I will definitely run to the bathroom, either because of the corn fiber, my body can't digest it and it's too much, or it could be the milk in it, because technically it should not be eating dairy. But the Enlightened, I have not tried. So, because I have lots of macros today, I put into my fitness pal one serving of Halo Top and one serving of Enlightened. So I am going to eat those while I'm taking my exams because I really don't want to take my exam and I kind of just want to like take a nap and not do anything today because it's my rest day but I have to get it done and I also have to meal plan and it's like four o'clock so I am allowing myself this treat to try it and I want to talk about quickly about treats or cheats or whatever I do not believe in cheap foods. I do not believe in bad foods or good foods. Um, I think there are foods that are better for you and foods that are not as good for you. So the Enlight and the Halo Top, um, I would say these are not the best foods for me because I will, I don't know, like it's, it's nice, but it's a lot of macros for like ice cream when I could eat like a ton of chicken and a ton of veggies with those macros. However, in order to stay sane while I'm prepping for competition, it's nice to be able to add these little fun foods into my macros every now and then when I can. Because when everybody else is going out and is going out to restaurants, having wine, having all of these things on prep, and I am choosing not to because I have my competition, this kind of balances it out and makes me feel less restricted. So as we get closer to the competition, I definitely will probably will not fit these foods into my macros anymore just because I want, I would rather eat chicken, honestly. Um, it'll make me feel fuller, etc. But for now, I am going to do this. So I'm going to put these back in the freezer and show you what else I got. So you guys saw at Julasco, it was buy one get one free of my favorite horseradish mustard. I put this on everything, especially during prep. It is like a spicy tanginess to it. So um, if you like that, it's coops. And then I got some more coconut spray. This is just the Julasco brand, I guess, but it was on sale, so I grabbed them. And then the last thing that I got, which I'm sure will be familiar to a lot of you guys, is ghee. Here it says it comes from pasture-raised cows. So on my last video that I put up where I showed you guys what I was eating, I mentioned that I was having trouble hitting my fats, and so I've been doing Kerrygold butter. Now, Kerrygold butter, I personally think, is completely different from any other type of butter. This is, I'm pretty sure, imported from Ireland. The cows are all pasture raised. It's just a high quality butter, and yes, it's more expensive, but I can taste the difference, I can feel the difference. So that's what I've been using for my fat source. And even though butter is technically dairy, I've never gotten a fibro flare from it. Um, I've never had any sort of lactose problem with it at all, so I keep it in my diet. However, someone commented on my video down below. Yay, thank you for commenting. I love it when people comment because I feel like I'm 
getting to know you guys, which is awesome. Um, but she was like, hey, Rachel, what about Guy? And I was like, oh yeah, duh. I should totally put ghee into my diet. So in case you guys don't know what ghee is, I discovered it during the Whole30. Since a lot of you guys come to my channel from the Whole30, you probably already know what I'm about to say. But ghee is like an Indian, I think it originated from India, where you boil butter and then you scrape off all of the whey is it whey? Um, from the top. So all that's left is just the pure oil of butter and that's I mean you can do it at home I don't think it's even that hard but for me it's just easier to just buy it so I got this one by Organic Valley originally I showed you guys in the store that I picked up another brand but it was twice as expensive it was like 10.99 versus this was 5.99 that one was 10 ounces this is 7.5 so I put the other one back and I was like, I'm just gonna get this one. And this one says it's pasture raised too. So, okay, it says no GMO, no salt, pasture raised, lactose and casein free. Ghee has sort of like a nutty taste. So that'll be nice just to like switch things up. I might put that, I might put that on my lunches for this week. I'm gonna put the camera down and eat my ice cream and go take these exams. So I'll see you when I start meal prepping. So quickly, I just did a taste test. The Enlightened Mint is really good, but it has that like aftertaste of fake sugar, but the salted caramel halo top. I would eat that all the time, all the time, if I could. Now the halo top is the one with actual milk, so nah, obviously I should not be eating it all the time. I'm gonna go take my exam. So my oven is at 390 and I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 30 minutes to roast them. So I wanna show you quickly my fitness pals. I planned out my meals for tomorrow. So a change from normal, instead of my Slap Nutrition pancakes, I'm just going to eat two hard boiled eggs. Again, that's super easy to make. I'm probably going to just buy them at work, honestly, because I'm kind of lazy and it's late and I don't really feel like hard boiling a bunch of eggs. So I'm going to eat that at 7 a.m. My 9 a.m. is going to be a serving of my oat bran plus a serving of that new flax chia blend that I just bought today. So that's going to be my second breakfast. For lunch, I have leftover chicken breast that I cooked in my Instapot. So I'm going to have the last of that for lunch plus my rice, which I cooked a bunch of yesterday, the Brussels sprouts that I just cooked, and a serving and a half of that ghee that I just bought today. Now let's go up to my pre-workout. Now this is new. I've been having some trouble with my pre-workout. I've been having oatmeal and I've just been burning through it way too quickly. So I talked to my coach and she suggested we try this. So I've got uh, 30 grams of my cream of rice. I have some strawberries. I bought those strawberries because of Kara and now I get to eat them as my pre-workout. Uh, half a scoop of my Slappy Birthday, so that's why I'm not having the pancake because I'm gonna be having it pre and post workout. And then also a serving of my almond butter. And so then we go down to my post-workout and I'm pretty much having the exact same thing minus the almond butter. So I'm looking forward to that. And then dinner is going to be broccoli, ground beef, and my Kerrygold butter. So I've got that all planned out for tomorrow. This is my dinner. It's a giant bowl, it's two servings of that salad stuff that I bought today, plus my dressing, which is olive oil and mustard, and then five ounces of ground beef. So 
that huge salad with meat is the last thing I'm going to eat today that will finish out all of my macros. So I'm gonna end this video here. Hopefully you found this helpful. Once school kind of dies down, so I'll go back to making, I don't know, like just more helpful content. I guess maybe maybe some of the stuff that I showed you guys at vitamin shop might be helpful let me know if you've tried any of those protein powders if you've heard of them I thought that was kind of cool and I need to get to work so I'm gonna stop talking I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys